Hello, this is HL7StarterKit.com. I wanted to shoot a video to help um, those who have never installed Mirth Connect. Um, we're going to install Mirth Connect right here, quick and easy. Uh, we're we'll, we'll doing three easy steps. We're going to download Mirth Connect first from their website. We'll install it on our computer and we'll launch it. Um, this is the Mac version, so I will, I will also create a video for the Windows operating system. But this is my Mac, so let's do if you have a Mac. Stay tuned, uh, keep watching. If you have a Windows, stop this, go to my YouTube channel and look for the Windows version of this tutorial. Okay, let's launch um, our browser. Let's go to google.com and I look for Mirth Connect. Right at the very top, you get a link to download. Sorry if I'm going a little fast, but um, I don't want to take up a lot of time here. I want to take up your time. Um, this is the Mac version, but so here's my installer. If I had Windows, I would be up here. But I have a Mac, so let's go ahead and install this, but it's going to take probably, I don't know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. You can see the progress, um, download progress over here. Uh, let's take a second. Um, while I'm here, we should mention the Mirth Connect forum. Um, if you're looking for help or just some advice, just want to read through what Mirth can do. What people, uh, what kind of uh, issues or help uh, people can um, have documented on this forum? I would highly recommend you go to Mirth, the Mirth Connect forum. Uh, I don't see a link here, but let's you go to Google.com. This is basically uh, any type Mirth Connect forum. I imagine you hit the link at the very top. There it is, MirthCorp.com community forums. And there's Mirth Connect form. Go ahead and sign up for that. I highly recommend that. Uh, okay, let's continue. Here is, in the very top is the very last time I installed Mirth Connect. Uh, I double click that and my Safari downloads. And I get this window. Um, and I double, easily just double click this icon. I get this message. So an application. I heard you can sort of bypass this message, but I just got this MacBook Air and I'm still learning how to work with it. So I usually just hit open. You can see the icon down here um, jumping. Uh, it's doing its thing. It's it's installing. It'll take a second. At least it did before. And, and there we go. It says, okay, you want to install Mirth Connect? I need your password, please. Hit your Mac OS user login password, the password to log into the computer. And let's see what happens. It should. There we go. Alright, cool. What I do is I accept all defaults. You could always change the defaults later in the administrator window. I just say next, 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 next. Remember this port? It's always by default 8080. You can change that too. Now or later. Next, next. Ha, huh. application. Here are the logs and application data, okay. Here, I want to make note of this in case I can't find the copy and paste. This is where Mark uh, will be installed if I understand that correctly. I'm going to make note of that. Click the install service. Again, I just just click right through all the defaults. Um, if you want to look to see, let's see. Let's paste that location. The folder location into here. Okay. While that installed, I'm going to open up the folder. Uh, how do I go do this? So I'm still getting used to the back. There we go. Nope, oh, haven't created it yet. The top one? There we go. So this is the actual folder of uh, uh, the Mac of the Mirth Connect, and um, there it goes. You can see the files loading as this runs. So there's a Mirth Connect folder, here's a path, MacBook here, that's my computer, that's my hard drive, this is the folder it's in, and under applications you should see Mirth Connect. Now what I'm not sure is uh, if we're going to see a folder or an icon under applications, we'll take a quick peek there, because this is done and confirmed. Um, 
And once you do is open up a new finder window really quickly here. There you go, now to find the windows, click on application. Uh, right. There it is, cool. Cool, so while it was installing, we saw we saw the folder being updated, uploaded, refreshing, and at the same time, we saw um, the installer putting a folder into our, into our application called Nurse Connect. So that works. Let's close this up. The completed wizard popped up. Let's say run Nurse Connect Server Manager. Let's it finish. Hopefully this works. I know I had an error last time I did this. Um, cool. So step one, download Nurse Connect from the website. Perfect. Install it on your computer. We did that. Lastly, let's launch it. Okay, now it's time to launch Nurse Connect. Um, usually after the first time you launch it, you get a little icon here. Um, you can launch it that way, I believe, but I like to go straight to the, to the web browser. So let's do that. Also keep in mind that the default um, username and password is admin admin. So let's do that. Let's go to Safari. Enter the URL. And this is all in the README file, by the way. So if you go to the README file on um, the Merth installer, installer. So you click launch. Oh, see that? Launch Merth Connect and you get what? You get this web start file. Let's click web start. And then I click open. And then what happens is Merth Connect starts to launch. Oh. And that must connect icon double actually um, did a quick jump. And let's see what happens. It only took a second here. Again, keep in mind admin admin. So let's type that in. Again, this is all default. This all can be changed in the Merth Connect server settings. I just um, wanted to do it. Quick, quickest video I could possibly do. <laughs> Take a little longer than I wanted to, but that's that's cool. That's good. Um, let's see this go. Let's see it launch. North Connect Interface Engine. It runs on Java. So I believe the installer should load Java for you, but if it doesn't, then let me know, and I can help you with that too. Because um, I didn't install Java on this MacBook, and, it's, and it, as you can see, it's running. So yeah, I, I suggest you would leave an admin account. Let's pick a new password. Pick the admin first name. Uh, da, 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 da. This is an admin account. This is an admin account. Let's see. I want to finish. Oh, acquired. all the same there we go all right click finish and you're in that's it that's how to install Mac um, most connect on a Mac uh, again if you want help with the Windows version look around my channel hl7startedkit.com or go to my website hl7startedkit.com and um, we can help you with that but this is the Mac version and um, thank you very much